today on the Lucia Colors of Heart Show. For normal life, yeah, it's it's incredibly different. In six months, you can understand that much. You're just getting to know everything, like transportation, other things. I mean, it's just new. So it's a bit hard for Turkish people, but it's nice. It's really nice to learn something new. And once a week, I visit Old Town, then cross the Charles Bridge <laughs> and see around and go home. <laughs> it's not uh kind that much in turkey i mean people are not looking at you if you're doing something strange i don't know why people do that i mean it's crazy welcome to this interview sevda just for you to know sevda is turkish student currently in the czech republic and she will be talking about her experience today so sevda how is for you so far to live in the czech republic uh it's by the way thank you for the invitation of this channel so it's nice experience for me and it's really nice to be here and studying here it's nice and i study at charles university for liberal arts and humanities it's it's nice program and being in in czech republic it's nice yeah so you like it so far yeah it's um Yes, I like it. It's it's a nice place. Uh, it's historical and it's not that much big like Istanbul. So, <laughs> yeah. So you lived in Istanbul before you moved yeah. to Prague. Yeah. So it was a uh, like big shock for you. Is it so different from Istanbul? Well, what can it you is. say about it? Yeah. Um, nightlife is the same, <laughs> but for normal life, yeah, it's it's incredibly different. I mean. Um, Istanbul is so big, so I cannot compare uh, with Prague, but being in Prague is better than Istanbul for me right now because I don't like that much crowded, but Istanbul also nice. <laughs> yeah, so our capital must feel like a little village for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. When exactly did you move to Prague? I moved in October. October last year. Yeah, yeah, so so it's around half of the year. What are you living there? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I think like if you came there with your, like pink glasses, everything like a rainbow and unicorns, now it's getting yes. cold, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. It is exactly. <laughs> are you starting to notice like bad things right now lately? <laughs> uh, not yet, but I believe that I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, in six months, you can understand that much because like you're just getting to know everything like transportation, other things. I mean, it's just new. But after six months, I think I will understand more things. Yeah, for sure. And I wanted to ask you, you choose Czech Republic intentionally or did you also consider other European countries? Uh, my first choice was Ireland because I lived there before. But um, Czech Republic was also in the list. I mean, it was second choice for me, but it became first because uh, I love some um, writers from Czech Republic and I wanted to learn more about them and their life and the, how they feel in Prague. So suddenly it became my first choice to come here and I... I'm here. <laughs> ah, that's nice. That's nice to hear that our ancestors make some impact <laughs> for yeah. people to want to move there. That's nice. Who's your favorite authors? Favorite uh, Czech authors? Franz Kafka and Karel Čepek. Ooh, nice. I love both of them. I, I mean, they're really nice writers. And uh, two of them lived in Prague, so I wanted to say, why not? I can feel the same, maybe. That's cool. Did you did you visit a uh, Franz Kafka museum in Prague? Yeah, it's like five times or something. <laughs> five times? Yeah, you know, I've been here like <laughs> like a tourist uh -huh. and like four, four or five times and I've been here. I mean, and I visited every time. <laughs> wow, you are a crazy <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you have some Turkish friends in Prague? Yes, I have many friends from Turkey. Yes. That's cool. So uh, are you mostly meeting with your Turkish friends or did you also make some Czech friends? I have one Czech friend. I mean, it's so mixed. Sometimes we all meet together 
Czech, Turkish, Russian. I mean, it's so uh, mixed. So I can't say that I'm meeting with Turkish friends mm. mostly, but yeah, I mean, it's it's same for me. Okay, that's good. It makes because like uh, before I was working in one language school and I had a lot of Russian students and mm -hmm. mostly they were just meeting, hanging out with each other. So they really weren't forced to learn the language because they were just mm -hmm. hanging together and they didn't have any Czech person to contact with to speak. Oh, with. I really want to uh, improve my Czech skills. So that would be better if I can find some Czech friends. <laughs> so. Uh, my first choice is not Turkish, but yeah, I love to speak in my, in my native language. So it's... it's Everybody really does. <laughs> I feel comfortable, but I mean, I also feel comfortable in English or not in Czech, but I will be, I hope. <laughs> I see. When did you start learning? Immediately after you came or it yes, took you some yeah. time? I had Czech class uh, in, in the university. So I started October and yeah, I... I still have Czech class for second semester so it's hard it's hard language I mean it we are not Slovak family mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a bit hard for Turkish people but it's nice it's really nice to learn something new and you can practice in everywhere most people can speak uh, in Czech here so you yeah. can practice that's it's true nice. do you think Czech grammar is more complicated than Turkish grammar or it's uh, about the same no it's about the same i mean they are different than mm -hmm. each other but turkish also so hard to learn it okay so different but equally complicated yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly i can say yes <laughs> wow do you have some favorite places in prague like so some places you are visiting really often or are you just walking yeah. randomly and <laughs> yes i um once a week i always visit Charles Bridge. I don't know why, but I really love that. <laughs> Just uh, walking in the bridge is really nice for me. And I really like Old Town. It's uh, nice to walk over there. I mean, same, once a week I visit Old Town, then cross the Charles Bridge mm -hmm. and see around and go home. <laughs> wow, that's nice walk. Yeah, it's very nice area. Very historical, very yeah. old. <laughs> and yesterday I tried a new place, uh, which is like under the Narodny Divatlo. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know this park's names. Uh, it's middle uh, in the middle in the Narodny Divatlo and Charles Bridge, and you can see ducks over there. And you can yeah, I think you are talking about Naplavka. Naplavska. I I don't know. I think so. I think, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I think so. And there's like Strzelecki Ostrov. So you can go in the middle of the island, in the middle yes, of the river a... and hanging out. Yeah, that's around Naplavka. Yeah, it must be really nice in the summer, actually. Yeah, that's a really good place. Really good place to spend time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you mentioned the National Theatre, did you visit some theatre in Czech Republic so far? No, not the yet, theater. but I'm planning to do that. But I heard that pe um, people were saying uh, they are not using this building anymore. I'm not sure about that. I'm they not sure have... neither. Because it, it has actually two parts. It has one a historical part. Yeah, and... I'm sure about that. Yeah, so I don't think they are playing there. That's true. And next to it is a like new yes. building. So yeah. they play there. But I remember when I was attending primary school, we visited uh, the historical part and they give us a, like a tour and like show us the first stones in the building and some like historical talk, you know. Um, <laughs> I, know I, I haven't been there yet, but I'm planning to do that. Yeah, it was very interesting. And they also took us to the roof. Like if you knew, if you know, like um, if you go by the tram, you can see the statues like over there on the yes, top yes. of the National Theater. Uh -huh. Yeah, so when yeah, I was little, right? yeah, so they took us up to the roof. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. It's time for a movie. You should watch this. Jewish Radner, 
Elizabeth Olsen. What they have in common? That's right. Movie! So, movie is called Liberal Arts. Guess why I'm talking about Liberal Arts right now? Yes, Sevda is studying Liberal Arts. That's why. So, this movie is comedy slash drama slash love story. The main lead is played by Josh. His name in the movie is Jesse and he will fall for college girl. She's just 19 and he's 35, so it's age appropriate, uh, you know. There's a special funny scene when he, he has a piece of paper and he's calculating like when I was, she was, when I will be, she will be. Come on, there are 16 years between them. I've been there. I know how it feels. So definitely, it's a very interesting movie, it's super philosophical, we could say, because liberal arts, what it could be about, right? Definitely. You know what? I will just stop talking. Here's the trailer, so watch it. But first, finish this interview with Sevda. Yeah, and also, did you visit Tavr on Charles Bridge? Like, you can also go up. Yeah, I did it. I did it, yes. <laughs> Good. Really nice. Nice to I'm, see. I like... missed this one. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. There was a week which is free all the towers. So, for students, uh, me, I, uh, I and my friends went to towers to see the city from the top. So, it was a nice week. Yeah, that must be a nice view. Yeah, it is. It is. It was. I yeah. can see some pictures from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's also a good view uh, when you take a cable car and go to Petrine, like view tower. Oh, yes. Yes. I heard that, but I haven't done it yet, but I'm planning to do it soon. You should. It, it's like, I'm not sure it's really true, but I heard uh, that like historically Czech people were jealous for the French people. So the Petrin Tower is called like little sister of oh, Eiffel yeah. Tower. Yes, I, I heard that, but I didn't believe it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's true, but people say that. So yeah. maybe, who maybe. knows? <laughs> it seems like little Eiffel. So it might be. Yeah. Uh, did you experience some big culture shock in Czech Republic? Something what was really shocking, unexpected, so uh, different uh, from Turkish culture. Yeah, um, not about Czech, I guess, but uh, in Turkey, I don't know, people are so friendly. And when, for example, if I ask a, ask a girl to go out, it will be so nice and they will uh, immediately accept that and find a day to meet but in here when I ask someone to go out they feel like scary and I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I mean it's just friendly going out it's not something else just asking that and people are so scared about that I don't you know it's I don't know like <laughs> classmates or some something not uh -huh. like stranger I'm not asking for strangers it's just classmate and I don't know maybe it's it's not about all, only Czech and um, other people also you know um, here is um, so here are so much uh, for foreign people so I can't separate it maybe no yeah that's it and maybe more uh, what could be um Yes, one more, but I'm not sure if you're going to share that. I'm not sure if it's a good one, but okay. let me tell you. Yeah, people are so uh, careful. No, not careful. I mean, uh, th they are always keeping their uh, beer bottle with them. Mm -hmm. Even they visit some friend's house, they took their bottle with them. I mean, the bottle, you can give it and give it to supermarket and you can take your three crown it's a deposit but i mean taking bottle from someone's house like if it's even if it's yours it's not uh, kind that much in turkey 
If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about the future episodes. And most important thing, don't forget to share with your friends and always remember, the best way to travel abroad is to live with the locals. Ah, you know what I mean? so, yeah, so like, you mean like a situation, yeah, yeah. I, I will go to your house yeah. and I will yeah. take your empty bottles? Sometimes, really? me, I, I know, it's... It's kind of difficult, and I saw people there always taking their bottles with me, with them. I, I mean, um, if I'm drunk, I will leave the bottle in in the um, in in garbage. I mean, not not in the street, but in garbage. I mean, uh -huh. take it with me with the home. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to understand <laughs> for me. It's so, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's true. I'm not sure it's like general rule for everyone but i believe people do it exactly yeah Pe i saw so much things <laughs> about that people are keeping their bottles with them i don't know i couldn't do that actually i, I didn't want to <laughs> keep it with me just live for garbage or something i don't know yeah, sure. <laughs> it's well, so european thing <laughs> it doesn't work for carrying for three crowns or i don't know how much they're giving for one bottle in these days <laughs> three crown yeah, yeah i know <laughs> we always do that but when we are home when we are drinking we just keep bottles and bring it to the supermarket it's also nice for the earth but yeah it's like yeah. good ecological thing but <laughs> exactly but when you're drunk and you're in your friend's house and taking two bottles yeah i don't know it's kind of Change. difficult <laughs> Yeah, that's strange, even for me. <laughs> and yeah. I'm from Czech Republic. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I agree. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also maybe uh, shocked about the foods. I don't know. And uh, how? Uh, I don't know. It's so difficult, different from Turkey. I tried three or four Czech food, but they were nice. But the others, like, uh seems like not that much nice <laughs> i don't know i heard that people are eating um how to say it meat i don't know how to say it like side dish like yeah. potatoes or a rice or something no, no 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 wait can i check for it yeah yeah check i'm curious now <laughs> i'm really curious <laughs> okay let me check I wrote, yeah, Rov. Mm, I know what you mean. Like Tatarak style, probably. Yeah, like yeah. you will put the egg and mix it. Yes. And exactly. onion. Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't like it. Ah, but but, but my sister it. loves it. I tell it. Yeah, my yeah. sister loves it. Loves it? Yeah, okay. I find it disgusting. <laughs> kind of strange for me, I mean. Yeah, Tatarak. <laughs> yeah, actually, I prepared some questions. I have special words. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so I have 16 questions for you. I call it Flaming Questions. That's my statement. Yeah, mm -hmm. I borrowed this concept from Ellen DeGeneres' show. <laughs> she has burning <laughs> questions, so I have flaming questions. Perfect. I don't want to messing with trademarks. <laughs> so, you just actually play in my favor. First question, Czech or Turkish cuisine? Turkish cuisine, of course. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Finish the statement. People in Prague are? Uh, so nice. That's nice. <laughs> my favorite place in Prague is? Charles Good choice. <laughs> Prague or Istanbul? Prague. Wow. <laughs> I love Istanbul, but uh, yes, it's Prague. Mm -hmm. The best experience in Prague so far was? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wait. So many good experiences. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, good. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, choose one. 
Tell me about some good experiences. I, I didn't feel strange here. I mean, it was so familiar. So that, that's good experience. Uh, when, when you live in outside of Turkey, uh, first time, you always feel like stranger or something. But here, I don't feel that. Oh, that's nice. So you felt like accepted from the beginning? Yeah. Like, like you fit? That's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. And freedom. Freedom is really nice here. I mean, you don't have, I mean, people are not looking at you if you're doing something strange. So that's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i know what you mean people don't care so much yeah <laughs> like at least in prague like if you go to some small city in czech republic and like i don't know you you have some short top for example people will be looking because it's small town but in the bigger city yeah people don't care so much yes people don't yeah. care anything so that's I, nice I think like Czech culture is like mind your business. <laughs> yeah, so people just go on the street in the ground and just like don't care, don't look right, don't look left, just mind your business, go to work, yes, go, exactly. know, go home. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Another question. Place on my travel wish list in Czech Republic is outside of Prague. Where would you like to visit? Um, Brno and Karlovary. Nice. I study at university in Brno. I lived there five years. Wow, that would, that would be nice. So I can plan a trip for you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. That would be really Actually, nice. let's make a challenge. You will plan a trip for me in Turkey and I will plan a trip for you. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. And we can document it. And can you tell me which place you want to go in Turkey? And um, you haven't been and you really want to go. Yeah, so somewhere close to Izmir. Like, I, I, I want to make some road trip with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, I will I will choose some and I will send you. And on my travel wish list, I have Pamukkale. I'm dreaming about going to Pamukkale. I'm there, so it's really nice. <laughs> I can make a list. <laughs> Good. I'm excited for that. Okay, another question. Would you rather spend rest of your life in the Czech Republic or yes. in the Turkey? Czech Republic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe after my uh, 40s, I can move to Turkey, but for a long time, I'll be here, I guess. So were you thinking about like try different European country or are you just happy with Czech Republic? And, like, I'm so I could stay there. Republic. Prague. That's, that's so nice. Okay, another statement. What I love about the Czech Republic is... Uh, history. History. Good answer. What drives me crazy about the Czech Republic is? Uh, uh, food. <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> what I enjoy about Czech, Re Czech culture is? What are you uh, enjoying about Czech culture? Uh, Czech culture. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. <laughs> 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 they have really nice beers <laughs> okay what's your favorite beer uh, what's my favorite uh pisner uh i also like brannick i usually drink brannick and i just tried kutna hora pivo and it was really nice it can be my favorite right now <laughs> good you should also visit kutna hora it's my nice city i did, did it did. yeah awesome did you visit did you visit yeah. Cathedral? Mm -hmm. And they have like, I don't know how to say it in English, but like museum from the bones. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I visited you know what I mean? first and then Cathedral, yeah. Yeah. I thought it's going to be big, but it was so small. And I don't know why people do that. I mean, it's crazy keeping them all together. It's creepy. And, <laughs> yeah, but it was... Uh, nice to see I don't know if it's nice but it's interesting yeah. at least exactly, yeah, but kind of creepy <laughs> <laughs> you already mentioned this but the Czech language is hard, hard. <laughs> my favorite Czech product is uh, can I say beer yeah definitely you can say that <laughs> Czech winter is 
uh, not for this, it's the, I mean, it's the fifth winter I saw in Czech Republic and it was really, really cold, but this year was like better than others. I mean, I all, I'll always visit Prague in winter time. I don't know why, <laughs> but all of them were so, so, so cold, but this year was so nice. I mean, right now there's sun, but in Turkey, snowing. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Another question. I find public transportation in Prague to be... Easy. Easy. My biggest culture shock in the Czech Republic so far was when... Uh, Some other story except beer bottles. <laughs> yeah. Can we count it, please? <laughs> okay. I... I don't feel that much shocked actually, but uh, I, okay, the, I was shocked when I didn't see that much shop place for clothes. There is just four or five, no, not four or five, but there is not that much shopping mall or shopping place. Mostly you can see just big brands, that's mm -hmm. But in Turkey, I mean, everywhere you can see clothes or shoes uh, they're selling in everywhere. Uh, you mean something like local shops? Yeah, like shop small mall. shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also that. Yeah, there are, but you need to you need to know where to go. <laughs> oh yeah, I I just saw Zara, H and M, just big brands, nothing else. Yeah. I don't know. I thought maybe they like i mean like boutique in Turkey. Uh -huh. oh you know that culture right yeah you can see every street i mean it's so common but here it's not that much common yeah we have some but yeah in prague it's mostly just shopping malls and big brands that's true yeah and there's not that much shopping mall actually in my in my uh city in istanbul not istanbul in Beylik, there's like small city and there are there are like more than 10 shopping malls but here it's like two or three that's not true near, actually near me. probably you don't know the rest <laughs> about Prague, I mean, near to yeah my... yeah in all Prague that's true there's not so many options but like complete all Prague there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. No, no, mall I... in every district <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. now I understand. Yeah, and I wanted to say that actually there's also big Vietnamese community in Czech Republic generally, and they have a lot of shops with clothes and groceries. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so another question, actually last question. If you could change your decision and go to study somewhere else in Europe, would you still choose Czech Republic? Yes. <laughs> or you would try to go to Ireland yeah I don't know I, I, I really love Ireland but it's not easy to live there I mean it, it's easy to live in Czech Republic because you can find job and you can afford your study stuff but in Ireland it's not that much possible you have to oh, yeah. you, ha you need to have so much money to be there but I really love Czech Republic. Probably I will choose Czech, Czech Republic and just visit Ireland for some months. <laughs> that's all. That, that's true. We are a cheaper country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So that's it for today. I thank you so much that you came for this interview, <laughs> that you agreed. And <laughs> def once. definitely, definitely let's make the challenge with the trips, planning trips yes. for each other. Yeah. Okay. And we can okay. make another interview about that. Yeah. <laughs> that will be awesome. Thank yeah. you. You're Take welcome. care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Next time you will see. Basically, I started a startup. I quit my job because I really wanted to digitize the, the relocation process to Austria. That's where COVID came. Then I realized, oh, wait, you know what? This is business coaching. But I had no business experience. I feel like I had to go through all of these experiences to now be able to, to do what I do now. For me, you know, my businesses are more like projects. That's right now I have three businesses, which is completely ridiculous. The business can be also done in a different way and not just in this one way where people tell you, you have to pick a niche and you just have to go with it and just do it and become an expert in it and just do it for a long time. And it's again, like with what we discussed with the moving abroad thing, 
I think with business, it's kind of the same. I was really down because of it. I thought, you know what, I really failed. Business can only grow to a level to which you grow you, yourself as a person. I still think everyone should have a side hustle because you can't rely on your job anymore financially. We are not being taught how to manage our finances, how to be, become financially independent. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about the future episodes. And most important thing, don't forget to share with your friends and always remember, the best way to travel abroad is to live with the locals.